Welcome to the short book summaries channel if you are new to this channel kindly consider subscribing this channel to stay updated on each new book coming to this world. In case you like and want to buy this book the link is given in the description below. Now enjoy the summary. For more than 20 years Natalie Goldberg has been challenging and cheering on writers with her books and workshops. In her groundbreaking first book, she brings together Zen meditation and writing in a new way. Writing practice, as she calls it, is no different from other forms of Zen practice it is backed by 2000 years of studying the mind. This edition includes a new preface and an interview with the author. I heard about this book a lot while doing NaNoWriMo last year, and thought I'd read it. It's a little amusing, written in 1984, so pre-computer really. And some of her advice was pretty repetitive, but I did get some glimmers out of there. We walk through so many myths of each other and ourselves, we are so thankful when someone sees us for who we are and accepts us. You're never free unless you are doing your art. I write because to form a word with your lips and tongue or think a thing and then dare to write it down so you can never take it back is the most powerful thing I know. If you give yourself over to honesty in your practice, it will permeate your life. Writing can teach us the dignity of speaking the truth, and it spreads out from the page into all of our life, and it should. This book is what got me writing. Absolutely stunning in its simplicity, but also much more deep than one would think upon first glance. Natalie Goldberg is a brilliant teacher who compares writing to many other crafts that necessitate discipline and daily practice, including meditation, friendships slash relationships, athletics, and just about everything else. A, very, paraphrase slash off the top of my head quote. You may have $2 in the bank account, your children are screaming, your loved one is begging you to wash the dishes, the house is a wreck, you're hungover from the night before. Now get up, quietly move to the next room, and write. 